Hi, my name is Dr. Michelle Spertos and I work in the discipline of occupational therapy. What I would like to do is to tell you a little bit about the profession of occupational therapy and also about our occupational therapy program here in Trinity. So what is occupational therapy? Well, occupational therapy is a client-centered health profession which is concerned with promoting health and well-being through occupation. The primary goal of occupational therapy is to enable people to participate in the activities of daily life. As occupational therapists, we work with people and communities to enhance their ability to engage in the occupations that they want to, they need to, or are expected to do, or by modifying the occupation or the environment to better support their occupational engagement. So when we talk about occupations, we are referring to the activities that people do as individuals, in families and with communities as part of their lives and to bring meaning and purpose to life. Occupational therapy provides practical support to empower people to facilitate recovery and to overcome barriers preventing them from doing the activities or the occupations that matter to them. Occupational therapy takes a whole person approach to both mental and physical health and well-being and enables individuals to achieve their full potential. So occupational therapy is not about fixing or curing the person, but maximizing participation and engagement. And it depends on the person themselves and what they're interested in or need to be able to do. So, for example, this could be something like making themselves a cup of tea or it could be like participating within the work environment. So we focus on the person, their occupations and the environment in which the occupations are taking place. And the focus is not always on the person, but we are also looking at barriers and facilitators within the environment itself. It's very much a person-centered profession, and we're interested in what is important to the person themselves. So the work of an occupational therapist is very diverse, and we can work through across the lifespan. So we can work from within the neonatal unit with um, babies that are born um, very early and with their parents to support their co-occupations and their development um, as they move through into, um, into later childhood. We can work with children, we can work with young adults, and we can work right through to within nursing homes and working with older adults. So it's all areas of the person and all areas of their environment. And I suppose some practical examples might be so working within um, within child, children's services. We might be working with children to help them to um, figure out how to hold a pencil or to develop their play skills. We could be working with um, young adults who are making that transition into college to see what assistive technology they might use and how we can maximize their potential within this new environment. Um, it could be things like power wheelchairs or computer software or things like that. Um, we might work with somebody who's had a hand injury and so we might make them a splint or we might do some hand therapy with them to get back their functional skills and to get them back doing the things that they need to be able to do. We also work within mental health services, and so this would be a large area of occupational therapy practice. So again, maximizing participation and engagement in occupations, looking at different skills around self-management, around relaxation. Um, we can work with older adults. We can work with somebody who's had a stroke and wants to go home and live um, independently again. And so we try to work with them on the things that they need to be able to do. And as I said, we can also work within nursing homes as well. So it's a huge area with a diversity of um, practice that we can carry out from the very young to older adults. The settings that we work in are very varied as well. So we have your traditional hospital settings, both in physical and mental health hospitals. We work in community and primary care teams. So going into people's home, working in community centers and in, in you know, day services. And um, we can work with children within teams. We can work with children within some of the voluntary organizations. We can work within schools. We can work within universities and we can also work in private practice. So there's a huge scope of practice within occupational therapy. And then to tell you a little bit about the occupational therapy program itself. This is a four year full time honours degree program, which leads to the award of BSc Curragh. 
Each year we offer 40 places and there are some requirements. So within the Leaving Cert, the entry requirements is a H4 in one of either physics, chemistry, biology, physics, chemistry or agricultural science or an advanced GCE at A level in either a grade C in either one of physics, chemistry or biology. Each year, we take approximately 10% of our allocation from mature student applications. So these are students that are over the age of 23 years. So this is a picture of the Trinity Centre for Health Sciences, which is located on the grounds of St. James's Hospital. And the majority of the lectures within occupational therapy and our classes are based in this Trinity Centre. Within the centre, there are also um, some smaller rooms for clinical um, work, there for practical based work, there's a library and there's some other resources for students. There are some classes in the first year which are delivered on the main TCD campus. However, as I said, the majority of your time, if you choose to study occupational therapy, will be spent within the Trinity Centre. And also, of course, on practice education placements, and I'm going to talk about those in a moment. So the course itself, as I mentioned, it's certainly a full time course that's quite intensive. There's a lot of different, very varied and interesting modules delivered within it. And I'm going to give you a little bit of information about some of those in a moment. Um, but we use a lot of different teaching methodologies as well. So it's not all lecture based. There are certainly some lecture based um, um, uh, delivery, but we have small group learning. We use problem based learning, which is students working on a particular trigger and finding out information and discussing it amongst each other. We do some flipped classroom work. So where we ask you to, to answer some questions and to come back in. Um, there's some service based learning where you're going out and having opportunities out in the community in different environments and you bring back that into discussion within our college work. There is a high level of self-directed learning, so it is important that you, you're you going to be having to direct yourself and manage some of your own learning. We also have a variety of examination methodologies. So we use, of course, your traditional um, written examinations, essays, practical exams from some of the practical subjects. We do some vivas, which are like oral examinations. And throughout in many of the modules, students will either present individually or in groups, and this will go towards their examination of that particular module. There is, just to mention, a strict attendance criteria because it is a professional course that leads to a professional qualification. So we need to ensure that you're getting the knowledge, skills and attitudes that will equip you to go on and practice as an occupational therapist. So I mentioned practice education already. Well, there is a mandatory completion of at least 1000 hours of supervised practice education during your four years with us. This can take place over multiple sites. I've already mentioned the many places that we can work and all of these places will offer placements to our students. You start your placements in your first year um, with, a, with a shorter placement and they go throughout all four years of the program with a full term and third year and a full term and fourth year spent on placement. And just to point out to you that some of these placements might be outside of Dublin. We work with a number of different services and we need to place 40 students at each particular time. So some of these might be outside of the Dublin area. So we have a huge range of subjects that you'll study, and this is just some of them. So there are other subjects that you'll do as well. And this means that the course is very interesting and very varied um, with lots of different areas covered. In the first years, um, it, there is more of a focus on kind of biological sciences with moving more towards the kind of applied occupational and therapy modules as you go into second, third year. However, we do have occupational therapy theory and practical modules that start in the first year as well. So some of the things you might be doing are anatomy and applied anatomy, or that you will be doing, sorry or anatomy and applied anatomy, um, psychology. So we have a number of different psychology modules that you'll complete. The study of occupation is around our theories and our practical work around the use of occupation in occupational therapy. We have a number of professional development modules where you um, carry out specific components and modules relating to occupational therapy work. There is a focus on research within the degree and, um, and this will take place throughout second, third and fourth year. There's disability studies based modules which look at concepts around disability and their application to occupational therapy practice. 
There are a number of modules that look specifically at areas or lifespan areas of occupational therapy practice. So we have occupational therapy for adults, for older adults, for mental health adults, and then for children and young people. There's a module on evaluative practice, and there are also modules on contemporary issues in occupational therapy practice. So these are some of the modules that you'll be studying if you choose to study occupational therapy. And then on graduation, the great thing is it leads to a professional qualification as an occupational therapist, and you will then be eligible to register for our state registration body, which is CARU. Our course in Trinity is approved by the Association of Occupational Therapists of Ireland and the World Federation of Occupational Therapists. And this means that it leads to a qualification that's recognized by the Association of Occupational Therapists of Ireland and the World Federation of Occupational Therapists. Just a couple of other points to let you know. Um, all our students are required to undergo guided vetting, and this is in relation to them going out and practice education placements. And all of the students are required to complete a health screening at their entry onto the course and to complete some mandatory vaccinations. And these are at your own expense. The guard of vetting and the health screening, these need to be completed as soon as an offer is accepted. So just to bear this in mind, if you do get offered a place in occupational therapy. And there are some expenses which include your uniform for practice education, this health screening and vaccination, and costs obviously associated with accommodation during your academic studies or while on placement. I hope you find this information useful for making your career choice and thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.